Hello and welcome back. Okay, let's get started. Manos a la obra. Let's get started. I don't want to waste any more time. I don't like to waste time. I prefer to make time as productive as possible. So, without any further ado, let's get started. List number 17, book three, translation booklets. I have many books like this. Con miles y miles, hasta 25 mil frases. De inglés cotidiano, del uso diario. Y esto es el libro tres, para gente de nivel medio alto o avanzado bajo. Okay, are you ready? Number one, this is a story. This is a conversation between a father and a son. We only hear the father's voice. We never hear the son's voice. But by the father's responses, we can assume the father's or the son's answers. Are you ready? Number one, estoy decepcionado con tu progreso. I'm disappointed with your progress. Disappointed. Me has decepcionado. You have disappointed me. Esperaba más de ti. I expected more from you. And the results son decepcionantes. The results are disappointing. Yes, you have let me down. All right? Yes. This is the father speaking to a son, okay? Estoy decepcionado con tu progreso. I'm disappointed with your progress. I'm disappointed in you. Cuando estás decepcionado en una persona o de una persona, es in. Ahora, cuando estás decepcionado con los resultados, with. I'm disappointed with the results. My expectations were high, and the results have been low. I expected mucho X. La X en inglés se pronuncia X. The taxis in Extremadura. Yes, I expected more from you. I'm disappointed with your progress. You were supposed to progress much more. I had high hopes placed on you, and you have let me down. I'm disappointed. The results are disappointing. Decepcionantes. I expected better results. So, estoy decepcionado. El número uno. Estoy decepcionado con tu progreso. I'm disappointed with your progress. Your progress. Progress. Acentuando la primera sílaba. Progress. Si fuera verbo, progresar, acentuaría la segunda. Progress. I would stress. Boom. The second syllable. The accent is on the second syllable. Eres capaz de hacer mayores progresos. You're capable. Come on. You're capable. Capable, capable. You're, you are. Sin brego la contracción. You're capable of making greater progress. En español, muchas veces decís progreso en plural. Progresos. Realizar progresos. In English, never. It's always singular. Realizar progreso. You're capable of making. Capaz de hacer. De es una preposición. Por lo tanto, en inglés, capaz de haciendo, literalmente. You're capable of making greater progress. Come on. I know your capacity. I know your capabilities. And you are not performing in line with your capabilities. You're perfectly capable of making greater progress. What's the problem? Come on. I'm really disappointed in your progress. I expected much more from you. From you, no of you. Se puede decir los dos, pero se dice más from. I expected much more from you, and you have let me down. Me has defraudado. You have let me down. Eres capaz de hacer mayores progresos. Eso estoy seguro. You're capable of making. Capable, capable, K, K, K. Primera letra del alfabeto inglés, A. Capable. You're capable of making greater progress. Greater progress. No has hecho un gran esfuerzo. You haven't made. Eso es número tres. You haven't made a big effort. You haven't made a big effort. Los esfuerzos grandes se dice big. Los progresos grandes se dice great. Pero mayores progresos. Greater progress. Why? Because you haven't made a big effort. You're perfectly capable of improving. But if you don't make an effort, it doesn't matter how capable you are. It doesn't matter the extent of your capabilities. It doesn't matter the degree of your capacity. It really doesn't matter. Da igual. It doesn't make any difference. Because if you don't make an effort, you will never meet your expectations nor my expectations. Neither your expectations nor my expectations. And you will let yourself down. You will let me down. Everybody will be disappointed if you don't work, if you don't make an effort in line with your capabilities. 
you're capable of making greater progress. That's true. But you haven't made a big effort. And because of that, my friend, everybody is disappointed. We expected so much from you. The child psychologists, your counselors at school, your teachers at school, everybody tells us that you are very intelligent. Everybody tells us that you're very capable. Everybody tells us that you have a tremendous potential, that you have a big potential, but you never take advantage of the gifts God has given you, los dones. Un don de Dios is a gift from God. Yes, eres un niño superdotado. You are a gifted child. You were a gifted child, and now, as an adolescent, you're a gifted young man. And you're not taking advantage of those gifts. Gift es regalo, pero también es un don. Como un regalo de Dios is a gift. Entonces, un niño con dones de Dios es un niño dotado o superdotado, a gifted child, a gifted young man. So you have everything in your favor. What's the problem? I'm disappointed in your progress. I'm really disappointed in you. I'm disappointed with your progress. You should have made greater progress because you're perfectly capable of making greater progress. And the reason is clear. You haven't made an effort. You're lazy. Yeah. Has desperdiciado, número cuatro. Has desperdiciado mucho tiempo. Has malgastado mucho tiempo. You have wasted to waste. You've wasted a lot of time. Yeah. You've wasted a lot of time. Yes. You've wasted my time. You've wasted your time. You've wasted your mother's time. You've wasted your grandmother's time. You've wasted your own time. You've wasted your teacher's time. You've wasted your counselor's time. Por cierto, counselor, como suena con ese, counselor es tutor. El tutor que hay en los colegios, que te, te asesora y te orienta un poco. You've wasted your counselor's time. You've wasted everybody's time. Everybody around you has high hopes in your abilities. We know your potential, and we expect so much from you, and you have let all of us down. You have let me down. You've let your mother down. You've let your grandmother down. You've left your teachers down. You've left the school administrators down. You've left your counselors down. Everybody has been let down. Decepcionados, defraudados. Everybody has been disappointed. We expected so much from you. Come on. Why do you do that to us? Okay. Has desperdiciado mucho tiempo. You've wasted a lot of time. To lose time, se dice en inglés, pero no con el mismo sentido. To lose time is cuando has perdido tiempo, no por malgastarlo. Simplemente que se han ido las luces y hemos tenido que esperar tres cuartos de hora para empezar este programa. So hemos perdido. We have lost time, but we haven't wasted time. Because to waste time is perder el tiempo malgastándolo. Okay? Not making good use of your time, not taking advantage of your time, not taking full, sacar plena ventaja o pleno aprovechamiento del tiempo, not taking full advantage. To take advantage of is sacar provecho de, o aprovecharse de, aprovechar. Now, aprovechar el tiempo bien is to take advantage of your time. Aprovechar el tiempo plenamente is to take full, como lleno, to take full advantage of your time or to make good use. Hacen un buen uso to make good use of your time. And you haven't made good use of your time, my friend. You have wasted your time. And to tell you the truth, you've wasted my time, too. And your mother's time. Yes, to waste. De desperdiciar, derrochar, malgastar, despilfarrar. Residuos radioactivos, por ejemplo, nuclear waste. Es lo que se gasta. Y lo que ya no sirve es to waste. All right, tu madre está muy disgustada, eh? Your mother is very upset, la pobre. Come on. How can you do this to your mother? She thinks you are the most incredible human being since the invention of man. And you've come back from the university with bad grades. You've, you're going to have to repeat the year. Come on, your mother? I don't know what to tell your mother. Your mother is very upset. Like me. 
She was expecting much more from you. She's also disappointed, but of course she's your mother. And the love from mother to son is with no conditions. It's unconditional love. Me, I love you too, but I expect much more from you. And you need to win my respect. I will always love you because you're my son, but you need to win my respect. For your mother, it's not a question of respect. Okay, but still, she knows that I'm disappointed. And really, in el fondo, como se dice en inglés, en el fondo, deep down. Bueno, en el fondo físicamente es at the bottom. Si estás nadando al fondo del mar, estás at the bottom of the sea. Pero en el fondo means deep down. She's disappointed too. Tu madre está muy disgustada. Número cinco, your mother is very disappointed. She's very upset. Muy disgustada, upset. Deberías haber estudiado más. You should have studied more. You should have studied more. You should have. Deberías uh, haber estudiado más. That was a mistake. You didn't study enough, and that was a mistake. You should have studied more. You should. Voy a hacer la contracción ahora. You should have. You should have. Hay dos formas de contraer. La forma correcta, you should have, haciendo el sonido de F, que realmente es una V, de ha, del, ver, del verbo auxiliar have. You should have. Lo unimos. Should have. Should have. Y luego los nativos, que do, destrozamos nuestro propio idioma. Shoulda. You should have studied more. Shoulda. Como una A. You should have studied more. Yeah, deberías haber asistido a más clases. You should have attended more classes. Come on, you didn't even attend class regularly. I have a report from the university, and your attendance was 47%. Come on. 47% attendance. You didn't even attend class half the time. Come on. And I'm paying for these these, you know, do you know how expensive universities are? My God. Yes. You should have studied more and you should have attended more classes. Yeah, that's right. You should have studied more. You should have attended more classes. I am really disappointed. And your poor mother, she is really upset. Come on. You've wasted time. You've wasted our money. You haven't made an effort. You could have made more progress. You're perfectly capable. In fact, you're considered a gifted young man a gifted child. All our lives we've known that you were gifted in music, in art, in writing, in everything. You have everything going for you, everything in your favor. Everything is going for you. Tienes todo a tu favor, okay, en la vida. God has given you abilities, capabilities, intelligence, much more than me and your mother. And what have you done with it? Wasting time, not attending class, not studying. Come on. I'm really disappointed. Okay. Numero ocho. Tengo razones para estar enfadado. I have reasons. I have reasons to be angry. Your mother's upset. Upset is el enfado interiorizado, cuando no lo sacas. Es disgusto. Ahora, angry is cuando lo exteriorizas. And you get angry and you start shouting. Come on. I have reasons to be angry. Yes. I have reasons to be angry. Huh? I'm very angry. I'm more than upset. Your mother's upset, but I'm angry. Ahora que voy a hacer contigo. Now, what am I? Fijaos en cómo pongo am delante de I y cómo enlazo la M con la I. What am I going to do with you? What am I going to do with you? What am I? What am I? Am I? Am I? Recordar la palabra, el nombre de mujer en este país, Amaya. Amaya. Y quita ya, la última silva, am I, así suena. What am I going to do? Practicad eso para desarrollar la forma de preguntar sobre ti mismo. En el, usando el verbo to be. Am I, Spanish, where am I? Imaginad que sufrís amnesia. Who am I? Where am I? What am I doing here? Why am I here? O si eres ex existencialista o nihilista, a nihilist or an existentialist. Also, who am I? What am I? Why am I here? Okay, and you can practice am I. Am I a teacher? Am I a lawyer? I have lost my memory. Who am I? What am I? 
Am I a man? Am I a woman? Am I Spanish? Am I, am I, am I Canadian? Am I American? Am I, am I, am I, am I? Y este señor, el padre tan severo, dice, ¿Y ahora qué voy a hacer contigo, chico? Now, what am I? What am I going to do with you? What am I going to do with you? ¿Qué va a pensar tu abuela cuando se entere? Uf. What is your grandmother going to think when she finds out? To find is encontrar. Ahora, to find out is descubrir, enterarse o averiguar. What is she going to think? Grandma. Hmm. La abuelita. What is, gran what is your grandmother going to think? Your grandmother is a very strong woman. My mother. Yes, good luck with grandmother. She's very hard. She's trying. And do you know, most of the money to pay for your university studies is from grandma. ¿Qué va a pensar tu abuela cuando se entere? What is your grandmother going to think when she finds out? She's going to take her cane, su bastón, and she's going to hit you on the head. She's going to be so upset. She's going to be so upset. What is your grandmother going to think when she finds out? Yeah. Casi tengo miedo de decírselo. Casi tengo miedo de decírselo. I'm almost, I'm almost afraid to tell her. Dos cosas aquí. Fijaos en la M. Dos sonidos de M. I'm almost. Ma, 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 ma. I'm almost. I'm almost. I'm almost. Pero se enlaza. La A de almost, de casi, se enlaza con la M de am. I'm almost. I'm almost afraid. Segunda cosa, afraid, miedoso, temeroso, de tener miedo. I'm afraid. O en este caso, I'm almost afraid. Pronunciación, afraid. Fijaos muy bien, porque muchos decís afraid. Afraid significa un Federico. Fred is Federico. Fred, Fred Astaire. All right. Fred Flintstone, que es Pedro Pica Piedra en inglés. Fred Flintstone, Federico Flintstone. Piedra de Pedernal, okay. Fred Flintstone. I'm afraid. No afraid. Afraid. Primera letra del alfabeto, A. A, B, C. Afraid. Okay, I'm afraid. Pero en este caso no 100%, pero casi. I'm almost, I'm almost afraid to tell your grandmother that you have wasted your time at the university, that you haven't passed half of your subjects, that you need to repeat six subjects, come on. Your grandmother's gonna kill you. She's going to take her cane, and even though the poor lady can barely walk, she's going to stand up straight, she's going to take that cane, and she's going to hit you on the head because you have wasted your time, and you've wasted our time. You have let us down. You have disappointed us. We are really disappointed. We expected much more from you, okay, because you're perfectly capable of making progress, and you're perfectly capable of being number one in your class. It's simply a question of deciding to do it and not being sick, lame, and lazy. Enfermo, cojo, y perezoso es una frase hecha en inglés. Sick, lame, and lazy means you're lazy. Ser vago y perezoso. Okay, so I'm going to tell your grandmother probably this evening, or maybe, a lo mejor lo pospongo, eh, of malas noticias. Maybe I will put off telling her, put off, es ir aplazando algo, sobre todo desagradable. I'm going to put off telling your grandmother until maybe tomorrow. Maybe tomorrow. I don't know. Vaya trago. I have to tell your grandmother. And you know, she helped me to help you pay for your university studies. Going to Harvard is very expensive, okay? It costs a fortune. He tenido que hacer ¿Sabes cuánto ha costado este curso? Do you know how much? Fijaos. Vamos a mirarlo en español otra vez. ¿Sabes cuánto ha costado? El verbo va primero y luego al final este curso. Pero en inglés... ¿Sabes cuánto este curso ha costado? Do you know? Porque la pregunta es, do you know? El resto de la frase es como si fuera en afirmativo. Do you know how much this course has cost? Do you know how much this course has cost? He tenido que hacer sacrificios, eh? He tenido que hacer sacrificios. I've had to make sacrifices. To make. En inglés los sacrificios se meken, no se duen. To make sacrifices. I've had to make sacrifices. La vida es, no es un lecho de rosas, chico, eh. 
life, life, life isn't a bed of roses. Un lecho de rosas, la vida, pero yo, yo empiezo con life. Yo nunca he tenido the life, porque estoy hablando en términos generales. Life isn't, siempre se hace la contracción porque es una frase hecha. Es una especie de proverbio. Life isn't a bed of roses. A bed of roses. That's right. Tienes que luchar por todo lo que consigues. You have to fight. Mm. Uh, you have to fight for everything you get. You have to fight for everything you get. You have to fight for everything you get. Life isn't a bed of roses. Mm -mm. You have to fight. Pelear, luchar, por todo lo que uno consigue, you have to fight for everything you get in life. Nothing comes free. There's nothing free in life, my son. Okay? We're very disappointed because it seems that you think everything is free in life simply because you were born with certain gifts from God and you're naturally intelligent doesn't give you the right to go through life without making an effort. Life requires hard work, effort. Vaya padre, okay. He tenido que hacer sacrificios. I have had to make sacrifices. Tienes que luchar por todo. You have to fight for everything. Nunca llegarás a ninguna parte, hijo mío, con esa actitud. You'll never get anywhere. Memorizad esa expresión. You'll never get anywhere. Es no llegar a ninguna parte. You'll never get anywhere with that attitude. Todo T. Hay tres T's en esta palabra. En, en español es ac con C. Actitud. Y en inglés la C no aparece. Hay una T ahí. Attitude. 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 You'll never get anywhere with that attitude. You'll never get anywhere with that attitude. Yo no entiendo a los jóvenes de hoy en día. I don't understand young people these days. I don't understand young people nowadays. You're so different. Yeah. I don't understand young people nowadays. Cuando yo tenía tu edad, éramos, o estábamos orgullosos de ir a la universidad. When I was your age, when I was your age, we, me and my colleagues and my friends, we were proud to go to the university. When I was your age, we were proud to go to the university, yeah. Really proud, orgulloso. Que viene del sustantivo orgullo, que es pride. We were, we were, we were proud to go to the university when I was your age. Yo a tu edad. When I was your age, we, myself and my friends, were proud. ¿Qué os pasa? What's the matter with you? What's wrong with your generation? What's the matter with your generation? Y ahora que voy, ¿qué, ¿qué vas a hacer ahora? ¿Qué vas a hacer con tu vida ahora? Now, what are you going to do? What are you going to do now? What plans do you have? What are you going to do? ¿Crees que te voy a mantener para siempre? Hmm? Do you think I'm going to support you forever? Come on. No seas iluso. Come on. Don't have these illusions that I'm going to uh, support you forever. Eh? Do you really think that? Come on. Do you think I'm going to support you forever? Mm -mm. Más vale que busques un trabajo, eh? Más vale. You had better look for a job. You had better. Es una extraña expresión. Pero es la forma de decir deberías, pero con consecuencias malas, siempre implícitas, porque es una especie de amenaza. Más vale, chico, que empieces a buscar. You had better start looking for a job. Mm -hmm. Ya te hemos dado dos oportunidades. We've already given you. Two opportunities. Y no las has aprovechado. You haven't taken advantage of them. You haven't taken advantage of them. In my opinion, deberías estar avergonzado. You should be, in my opinion, you should be ashamed, not proud. The opposite of proud is ashamed. The opposite of pride, orgullo, is vergüenza, shame. Pero añades a delante, ashamed, y e de al final, con shame. Y ya tenemos avergonzado. You should be ashamed. Yes. I expected a lot from you, and I haven't finished talking to you, okay? Which means I need to come back in about five minutes and continue talking to you about your responsibilities to me, to your mother, to your grandmother, to yourself, and about life in general, about the, the struggle for life. Yes, so I'll be back in five minutes. Sorry. Okay. This is simply a list.
I'm not really angry with you. But we'll come back in five minutes to continue with the story of the father talking to his son. All right, so don't go away. Thank <laughs> you. 